So this will be an example of a citric acid and baking soda reaction. So here I'm adding the citric acid into our styrofoam cup, which will be our calorimeter for this experiment. So now I will start data collection. It will show that the temperature is level as of right now, so now I will add in the sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Now I'm adding in the baking soda. A nice fizz. So now, as you can see, the temperature is dropping, which indicates that this is an endothermic reaction. So that means that it is taking energy from the surroundings and putting it into the solution. Here are the graphs of the endothermic reaction. So now this will be an example of an acid-base reaction. I'm now putting hydrochloric acid into our styrofoam cup calorimeter. Now we will wait until the temperature levels off and we will start data collection. So now I am adding our base, which is sodium hydroxide, and I will add that now. Now there really is no indication that there's a chemical reaction happening other than the temperature rising, so watch the uh, temperature probe there on the side, and you will see that the temperature is increasing steadily. And this is an example of an exothermic reaction which means that the solution is releasing energy into the surroundings. And this is the graph of our exothermic acid-base reaction.